Hope is the one thing that can help us through the darkest of times. You live long enough in this world, uh, you'll definitely go through hard times. And when you go through hard times, you'll need to have some hope. Because sometimes that'll be the only thing that'll get you through it. For me, where do I get my hope in? Jesus Christ. One thing about being a Christian, I'm so glad for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the, accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior has been the greatest decision I've ever made in my life. Jesus, you know, I've, I've been a Christian and I've accepted Jesus since I was 11 years old. And there's been countless of times where Jesus has saved my life and performed miracles throughout my life just being a Christian. So much so that I'd be here all day if I were to recount all the time. But I really just wanted to make this video to tell somebody that, man, Jesus is good. Like, if you need some hope, if, you, if you've if you never tried Jesus and you need some hope, try Jesus. And I'm not talking about the Jesus that Christians, super strict, rule-oriented, doesn't show any love type Christians that you see on media or social media that they like to portray you know i'm not talking about those kind of i'm talking about the real jesus i'm talking about the loving jesus the jesus that died on the cross you know the jesus that paid the price for our sins and rose on the third day that jesus that jesus i'm telling you when you if you really try and see serious about that jesus and, and you know him for yourself, not based on what other Christians say, what the church say, but what the Bible says and how you experience for yourself. It's a totally different. It's a totally different feeling. It's a totally different. It changes your whole perspective. It changes your life. Look, I'm going to tell you right. I'm going to be honest with y'all. If you've seen my last, you know, couple of videos, you know, the last year hasn't been great for me. I am 32, unemployed, uh, living with my parents single have some health issues i have mental issues i don't be sleeping at night let me tell you something jesus is still good i still have hope i still have joy jesus is great by all means i shouldn't because my life and my circumstances are trash terrible around me but i'm telling you like i have so much hope and joy in jesus that i literally i one of the few times i couldn't sleep because i was so happy just thinking about god and praising god like jesus is so good like I'm telling you, if you if you need some hope, some real hope, know about Jesus. You know, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and it's real easy. You know, a lot of people think you gotta be this this perfect person to come to Jesus. No, Jesus wants you. You can't be perfect. That's why Jesus died on the cross for us, because you can't be perfect, and that's why you should come to Him, because you're not perfect, and you never will be. He accepts you as you are, sin and all. It doesn't matter what kind of sin. There is no sin in the world that keep you away from Jesus. Jesus will accept you, all of it. You don't have to worry about, oh, let me follow all these rules. I'm telling you, once you experience Jesus for yourself, you'll want to follow Jesus. You'll want to obey the, the, the Bible. You'll want to do what, you know, that's pleasing to him. That's how you know you're really saved because you'll want, you, you'll stop wanting to do all the sin and stuff in your life. You'll want to do the good things that the Bible tells you to do. You'll want to obey God, so... Don't worry about having to do all this extra. Just come to Jesus as you are. You know, it, and it's real simple to do that. Romans 10, 9 says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's it. All you got to do is confess to Jesus. Pray to him. Pray to God. Be Lord, I believe in you. I confess with my mouth. And you got to actually believe it in your heart that Jesus is the son of God and that he died on the cross for our sins and he rose on the third day and that's it you're saved you accept Jesus as Lord in Christ I'm telling you it's a life changing experience now afterwards you know if you can find a local church you know try to get baptized but I'm telling you accepting Jesus Christ it's it's the greatest decision you'll ever make in your life. I'm telling you, you want to have joy, you want to have hope, even if the whole world and everything is crashing down around you and everything is dark and the situation is horrible. I'm telling you, you will have a supernatural hope and joy in Jesus that that's the only reason I honestly made it as far as I have now because of Jesus. Like it's it's crazy. 
it's a crazy kind of supernatural feeling I cannot describe like you have to experience it for yourself but yeah I just wanted to get on here and just tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus Christ because it's Easter Sunday and I'm so glad that Jesus rose from the dead. I'm so glad he died for Mark's sins. I'm so glad he's sitting on the right hand of God. I read chapter Mark chapter 16 and I just I couldn't couldn't contain. I had to tell somebody about God, the goodness of God, the goodness of Jesus. So um, whenever you're finding this this video, you know, I'm hoping you have a good day. I'm hoping you if you're if you're having a tough time in life, like I said, try Jesus. Don't knock it till you try it, you know? Alright. Have a great day. Peace out.